We're talking about the old Dayton Motor Car Company, the building there on McDonough Street, east of the Oregon District. This comes one year after the Ohio Development Services Agency set aside almost $2 million in historic tax credits for the building. Miller Valentine is working to turn that building into a modern office space. A big announcement today intended to help Miami Valley Colleges bring the manufacturing workforce to the front, forefront. Clark County Community College in Springfield and Sinclair College in Dayton is making the announcement along with the Dayton Region Manufacturers Association. They will be holding a joint news conference at Goodwill Easter Seals, Miami Valley. We'll have all the details for you later today, both on air and online. At 516, the Transportation Research Center will be hosting a ribbon cutting ceremony for its new smart center today that ceremony kicks off at 10 this morning in east liberty that's about 10 miles east of bell fountain the new center covers 540 acres and costs about 45 million dollars officials with that center say it's the most advanced automated and connected vehicle testing center in north america well the 2019 major league baseball all-star game wrapped up in cleveland last night the american league took home the win against the national league in the 90th midsummer classic at progressive field dante and i were going to play but you know we had to be here this is the seventh all-star game in a row that the american league has won former cleveland's pitcher cc sabathia made an appearance in the ninth inning and left with a standing ovation from the cleveland crowd sabathia by the way said he will be retiring at the end of the season. I bet it was hot out there. I bet it was, and it's <laughs> going to be hot here too if people want to get out and play baseball. Yeah, right. exactly. It's 75 degrees already this morning. Let's check in with Storm Center 7 meteorologist Dr. Jones. Yeah, with this forecast, I'm batting a thousand. I, 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 I couldn't wait to say it. I couldn't wait. <laughs> All right, let's get outside this morning. It's gorgeous if you like summertime. I mean, really. You know, the heat, the humidity, the sunshine, all of that. I mean, this is what we live for, for those of us who love summertime. It gives you a chance to hop into the pool, just relax, lazy summer days. And this is certainly going to be one of them, at least until we get into the afternoon. And Mother Nature going to drop a little bit of moisture on us herself. 75 degrees in Piqua. We've got uh, muggy conditions out there. We've got a little bit of fog across the Miami Valley as well. Not everybody, though. 68 in Greenville, 69 in Eaton. Good morning to you. Looking at 68 up in the Bell Fountain. Urbana coming in about 67. Zinnia at 70 and then down towards Springboro. Just a smidgen warmer at 75. We're seeing some patchy fog across the area and it's ebbing and flowing. So far, the densest of the fog this morning has been around Dark County. Uh, not seeing it so far. It looks like it's lifted a little bit. But just give yourself a few extra minutes out there in case you run into some of the fog. It is going to be patchy throughout the course of the morning. Of course, Sergeant Mark Bauer will be giving us updates on the roadways as well. Uh, heat and humidity and thunderstorms is what I'm forecasting for the day. The hour-by-hour -hour forecast shows us we're dry for the morning sunshine and then for the afternoon we'll bring in a few clouds we'll call it partly cloudy for the afternoon we'll top out right around 90 that heat index going to be in the mid 90s so take care of yourself if you headed out to any of the county fairs and then we've got a uv index a 10 out of 11 which is very high if you'll notice that the uh, tropics are starting to get a little bit active, especially the Gulf of Mexico here, there's a system that could develop into Barry, tropical storm Barry, perhaps by the time we head towards Friday and maybe even into Saturday. Going to give a soaking to probably East Texas, maybe into Louisiana. There's a, a model spread here. It's not definite, but right now it looks like the consensus is trying to take this towards Louisiana and Texas coast. And then it rides up the Mississippi. And then from there, we'll have to watch that and see if we get any rain from that as we head into the latter part of next week. So far, sunshine here for the morning, and then partly cloudy for noontime, and then for the about 2, 3, 3.30 in the afternoon, that's when we start to see pop-up showers and embedded thunderstorms roll by. Neither one of these are particularly heavy, but there could be one or two that could have some pretty gusty winds and maybe some hail with it. We'll have to watch for that. Quiet overnight tonight is what the model's saying now, although an isolated shower storm can't be ruled out. And then tomorrow afternoon, a pop-up shower or thunderstorm is possible primarily in the east. 90 degrees for us today, hot and humid, a few afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Nothing really to ruin your day, but that'll be around uh, for the evening rush. And then 72 tonight, mostly cloudy and muggy. An isolated shower storm can't be ruled out there either. 86 tomorrow, gradual sunshine, so we are cooler, and the humidity is going to go down as well with this frontal boundary passing. Here's the five-day forecast. 
Oh, it's marvelous on Friday. 84, sunshine, humidity low. Thursday night and a Friday morning, going to be good, 64 degrees. And as we get back into the weekend, so is the heat and humidity. 90 degrees for us over the weekend, humidity in the mid-90s, sunshine on Saturday. I know I sound excited about it, right? Partly clogged with an isolated thunderstorm to the north and east as we move into the day on Sunday. All right, that's a look at the weather. Let's take a look at the traffic. And with that, we got to go to Sergeant Mark Bauer. Good morning, Sarge. Good morning again to you, Dante. Actually, I uh, have very little to complain about this morning. Things are looking good out on the freeway system. Here's a live shot of Interstate 75. This camera's at Stanley Avenue, the city of Dayton. We are looking good on both north and southbound 75. I also checked out some travel times. If your morning drive happens to take you between Route 68 and the Springfield area over to Interstate 70, that is a, or I should say 75, that's a 19-mile drive, and it's taken about 18 minutes. I'm Sergeant Mark Bauer in WHIO Team Traffic. Sergeant, thank you. 521, 75 degrees. The Ohio Supreme Court is hearing a case involving a Miami Valley woman. The pawn shop liability laws that she's arguing against. And a former football player now facing assault charges. What happened when police officers tried to tase her? Dayton's newest radio station, baby. It's a big. 95.3 and 101.1. The Eagle. Today. At